When forming compounds, atoms tend to gain, lose, or share electrons to achieve a stable noble gas electron configuration, an octet of electrons. In ionic bonding, an octet is formed by transferring one or more valence electrons from one atom to another. In covalent bonding, an octet is formed by sharing valence electrons between atoms. Sodium has one valence electron and fluorine has seven valence electrons. If the one valence electron of sodium is transferred to fluorine, both atoms achieve an octet of electrons. By losing one electron, sodium has a plus one charge. By gaining one electron, fluorine has a negative one charge. An ionic bond is the electrostatic force that holds ions together in ionic compounds. Both fluorine atoms have seven valence electrons. If one electron from each fluorine atom is shared with the other atom, then both fluorine atoms achieve an octet of electrons. This type of bond is called a nonpolar covalent bond. The sharing of electrons between atoms is exactly equal, and the electron density is symmetrical. The distribution varies according to the colors of the rainbow. The most electron-rich region is shown in red, in this case the region between the two nuclei, and the most electron-poor region is blue. Hydrogen has one valence electron and fluorine has seven valence electrons. If the one valence electron of hydrogen is shared with seven valence electrons in fluorine, fluorine achieves an octet of electrons. Note that hydrogen has only two electrons, which is the electron configuration of helium. When bonded to another element, hydrogen will have two electrons in its valence shell. In this bond, fluorine has a greater attraction for the electrons in the bond, a greater electronegativity. Because the electrons spend more time near the fluorine atom, the electron density shifts towards fluorine. The most electron-rich region is red. The most electron-poor region is blue. bond. A polar covalent bond can be thought of as an intermediate between a nonpolar covalent bond and an ionic bond.